uh, in this video uh, we talk about three type of integrals uh, for uh, trigonometric integrals and uh, talk about how to remember the substitution uh, because of the various type of integrals there are a lot of different types of uh, substitution techniques uh, which are uh, difficult to uh, remember but we can see some kind of pattern that you can see and then uh, use them to uh, remember yeah, them okay so these are trig integrals so trigonometric uh, integrals trigonometric integrals I'm going to call it uh, tricks to remember uh, tricks to uh, remember okay so um, so let's go uh, one by one uh, so the first type actually uh, so what's going to happen all these uh, integrals are uh, solved using uh, so this uh, substitution methods So it's a substitution method, uh, and then uh, all of them kind of uh, boils down to these uh, steps. So the method. Uh, so what are the steps? So uh, the first step is uh, check the condition. Check the condition. Check the condition, and then uh, the uh, second is we're gonna select the uh, the substitution. So we're gonna select a special function depending on the condition, and then we always do a separate term. So separate a term uh, for the uh, derivative du, and then what we're gonna do. Uh, write the rest of the integral using u. So write the rest of the integral, rest of the integral, write the rest of the integral uh, using a uh, u. Uh, so whatever u that you use, uh, we can uh, write the rest of the integral using. So, so that means each of these problems gonna bring uh, uh, can be like boils down to these uh, four steps so uh, so let's go one by one so I'm going to start with uh, the first type and also actually I, I forgot to tell you one thing and then like uh, these uh, methods work most of the time so I should say work most of the time most of the time so I can say it's worked like 100% every time, but it works most of the time. So there are special integrals that you need special treatments. Um, so let's see uh, the first type. So there are only three types we're talking about. There was the first type, you're gonna see sine, uh, sum power like m power, and then the cosine uh, nth power, like that. So, uh, so if this is the case, uh, we're gonna kind of break this into three cases. So the first case is uh, if m o n is odd. So if one of them is odd, one of them is odd. So the substitution going to be we're going to pick u equal uh, the other one. So we can check the condition and the, uh, we're going to pick the other one. So it's the other one. Uh, why we mean by other one that means if m is odd we are going to pick u equal cosine uh, if if uh, n is odd we are going to pick u equal sine good so uh, so let's write that uh, so that means so what's going to happen so what are the two cases so uh, if m odd if m odd, we're gonna pick u equal cosine x. Uh, if n is odd, we're gonna pick u equal uh, sine x. And then what's gonna happen? Uh, we're gonna get the du is in this case is negative uh, sine x dx. 
in this case du equal cosine x dx so that means we're gonna separate a uh, so we're gonna separate a sine term for the derivative we're gonna separate sine x here we're gonna separate uh, cosine x and then write the rest of the integral are uh, using u depending on the situation okay so that's those are the uh, substitutions we're gonna pick so if m is odd we're gonna pick u equal cosine x if n is odd we're gonna pick u equal sine x so the easy way to remember is use the other one and then uh, what are the identities we uh, we use? So uh, we can use several identities. Uh, so we're going to use. Uh, so I'm going to call it identities use. Uh, use. Uh, so we can have. Uh, sine square theta equal 1 minus cosine square theta and then we also use uh, cosine square theta 1 minus sine square theta in these two cases depending on what you need yeah, so uh, that's like if m or n is odd so if uh, if uh, both m and n uh, if are uh, odd if both uh, m and n are uh, odd both odd both of them are odd if both of them are the odd we gonna select a uh, u as the one with the largest power so u gonna be the one with the largest power so one uh, with largest power good and the third case if both m and n uh, even that's the other case that we have if both m and n are even uh, we can use the uh, double angle formula we can use we can use the uh, double angle formula we can use sine square theta equal 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 2 and then cosine square theta equal 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2 and also uh, in this case uh, it might be useful to use uh, these uh, two uh, integrals we know that this sine kx dx is uh, a negative 1 over k cosine kx plus c and the integral of cosine kx dx equal 1 over k sine kx plus c okay so that is for the first type in the first type we're going to see sine mx cosine nx dx so let's talk about the second type so the second type is uh, we have tan and secant so the second type we're going to see uh, tan uh, mx and the secant nx dx uh, again we're going to break this into two types now so uh, so the first type uh, you can see uh, you're going to check whether you can separate a secant squared term so you can say when secant squared x can be separated okay if you can separate a secant squared then you're going to do uh, u equal tan x so we check the condition and then we select the 
substitution. Uh, so you're going to get that. Uh, and then we know that the du equal, uh, so uh, du equal ck squared x dx. That means you're going to separate uh, ck squared x for the derivative. And then write the rest of the integral using tan x. So write the rest of the integral, rest of the integral, rest of the integral uh, using uh, tan. So that's the argument. Um, so you also going to use the um, identity uh, in this case because you have to write everything using tan so that means you might need to use secant squared x equal 1 plus tan squared x okay so that is for the uh, tan when you can separate secant squared so let's talk about the second type so there are only two types here uh, when uh, when secant x tan x when c can x tan x can be separated okay. c can x tan x so if you can separate c can tan then you're going to do c can u equal c can x u equal uh, c can x and then uh, as before the rest of the steps works du uh, we know that the uh, the du is du is secant uh, x tan x dx. So that means you have to separate uh, secant x tan x for the uh, for the derivative. And then what you can do? Uh, you can write the rest of the integral using secant. So write write the rest of the integral all right uh, the rest of the integral right the rest uh, of the uh, integral uh, using secant using secant I just write secant okay right the rest of the integral using secant and uh, you're going to use the identity uh, so you have to use single so rewrite tan using secant. So the secant is squared x minus one. So that's the identity uh, you use for that. Now, so you can see that there are two types that you can uh, separate secant squared. Then you use u equal tan x. You can separate secant x tan x. Then you use u equal secant x. But there are a lot of other types of uh, situations here. So I'm going to call them uh, special cases. So special special cases. So what are the special cases? Uh, we showed that uh, uh, the integral of tan, integral of tan x dx, tan x dx uh, is equals to natural log uh, secant x uh, plus c and then we had integral of uh, cotan x cotangent x which is the natural log of sin x plus c so you, these are direct formulas so you can use them and then that's for tan cotan and then the, for the secant for the secant, uh, we had secant x dx, so that is natural log secant x plus tan x plus c, and then uh, we have cosecant, cosecant x dx, which is negative ln uh, cosecant x plus cotangent x and then 
what about what about the other powers of uh, secant? But we know that if the secant has an even power, then we we can do that uh, according to part A. So, for example, if we have uh, secant squared x dx, this is simply tan x uh, plus c uh, because that's the antiderivative. Uh, and then what about uh, so that means all the other even powers can be treated uh, similarly uh, separating secant squared but what about uh, secant uh, cube x dx so if you have secant cube uh, what you want to do is you have to uh, so what you can do is you can separate uh, secant squared so we can do this as uh, secant x and then secant squared x dx now we can use the integration by parts for this problem. So you have to use integration by parts for this one. Um, and then the other powers uh, you can also, for example, if we have secant uh, 5x dx, then you can do this again using integration by parts. So you can see that these three types have uh, three different techniques. So this one we do a different way. And this one very easy and this one you need integration by parts so those three has completely uh, different techniques okay so this is for the second type uh, we have tan and secant uh, and then uh, what we gonna do is uh, the last type is the uh, product rule so let's talk about that so the last one is uh, third type uh, what we have is product so we have sine uh, mx uh, and then cosine in uh, x dx and then the next type is uh, sine uh, mx sine nx dx and the last type is cosine mx and then cosine nx dx and we assume that m not equal to n okay uh, so what we're going to use uh, what we can do here is we can use the product rule so use the uh, product to sum rule product to sum uh, identities or formula so what are they uh, so those formulas are sine uh, a cosine b uh, equal one half sine a minus b uh, plus sine a plus b and then we have uh, sine a sine b which is one half uh, cosine a minus b uh, minus cosine a plus b and then we have cosine a cosine b and you can see that if they are the same type sine sine cosine cosine then uh, inside is all cosine so that's uh, easy to remember so it's a cosine uh, a minus b plus uh, cosine a plus b so here there are a few things that you can remember you can see that these are all a minus b these are all a plus b and then if they have uh, same type it's going to be cosine if they have um, different type sine cosine they're going to be sine so that's the easiest way to remember so th these uh, tricks going to be uh, very helpful uh, when you solve uh, those three type of um, integrals so this is uh, this is the uh, sine cosine product and this is the uh, tan uh, secant powers and then uh, this is the um, sine cosine powers thank you so this is the uh, end of the uh, the tricks for uh, trigonometric integrals